This is a short video tutorial about calculator basics for the TI-83, TI-84 series. If you want more videos and more instruction on these series of calculators, visit the website www.gboyinc.net. Hello and welcome. Today's tutorial is calculator basics. In today's lesson, we'll be turning on and off the calculator. We will lighten and darken the screen. We'll take a look at the mode screen and also the home screen. We'll take a look at operations and symbols. Next, we'll look at the memory of the calculator, text, and also how to reset the calculator. Turning the calculator on and off. To turn the calculator on, you'll simply press on. To turn the calculator off, notice that off it's yellow and it's a second function. So we'll hit second and on, which is actually the off. To darken or lighten the screen. Now, since this is a virtual TI, uh, this is not relevant, but on a handheld, it would be. So to lighten or darken the screen, you can press and hold the second. And you can also use up or down. Um, if you're using a handheld, five is about the best resolution. Next, let's look at the mode screen. To look at the mode screen, you'll simply hit mode. All options should be darkened over to the left side choices unless you want a different mode. So if in order to accomplish that, let's scroll down to our row, and then we'll simply hit enter. Next, we'll take a look at the home screen. To go to the home screen, you'll actually hit second in mode. Notice that the quit key is yellow, so it's a second function. This quit actually takes us to our home screen. Operations and symbols. Now we'll key in the following, 4 plus 3. Notice that there isn't an equal sign. We'll simply hit enter. 4 times 3. Notice that the multiplication sign appears as an asterisk on the TI-83. We can also use a set of parentheses for multiplication. Now let's enter 8 minus 3. And now let's enter 8, negative 3. And notice here that we get an error. There is a difference between the operation subtraction and the negative symbol. Next, let's look at the memory on the calculator. To scroll through the memory of your calculator, you'll simply hit 2nd and enter. That'll take us up one level. Second enter again takes us up a second, a third, a fourth, a fifth, and so on. Next, there's text on the TI-83. To type words into your calculator, which can later be used to type programs or make notes, we'll simply hit alpha, or we can lock in by hitting second alpha. So if we wanted to type a note, let's say hello, I want to use my green alpha, and in order to find my letters, I'm looking at my green letters, H, E, L, L, O. I can also lock in the alpha setting by second, and notice every time you hit second, there's an arrow in your cursor, and A. Okay, so I have now have it locked in. So instead of hitting alpha after every letter, I can now enter my letters. Next, to reset the calculator. To reset the calculator, you use the following steps. Second and the plus sign, which is the memory. We'll go down to reset. We will scroll over to all, and then we will simply click yes. 
to reset. And there you have it.